Oh, not great gear change. Another not great gear change. It is officially a new season here in the lovely United Kingdom. Summer is upon us and... Summer is upon us. It does look like a lovely United Kingdom summer because uh, there's actually no blue sky in the in the sky, which is quite accurate. So good job, Playground Games, for that. Anyways, as with every season, there are some brand new cars to go and check out, some brand new Forza-thons and all of that stuff. So I wanted to give it a go and see what we got today. It is officially the end of the car pass for Forza Horizon 4. So you know how for the past couple of months we've been getting a new car every week? Or two new cars every every week. Well, that is officially ending with these two. The TVR Griffith and the Cadillac Eldorado Convertible. These are our final two. After this, there's going to be a bit of a gap. And then at some point in March, they're going to start up paid DLC again. I don't know if that's how they're going to do it every single week. I actually really liked getting a new car or two new cars every single week. I found it gave me more time to mess around with the cars, get to know them and stuff like that. They might just go back to their old usual like, oh, monthly DLC stuff. We'll have to see, but I don't know. Forza-thon shop for this week, pretty disappointing overall. We've got a clown mask if you want to scare your friends. Uh, a Jim Connor car, which we've already had before. And a Renault 5 Turbo, which I'm pretty sure we've also had before. Thanks, Forza, for actually getting the message and bringing the goddamn prices down. I'm still gonna say, though, 750 points is a stupid amount of points. And then, as per usual, we've also got some more seasonal events. We've actually got the old TVR Tuscan, which is super cool, with the classic TVR paint job. And we've also got... A Kenny from the Block racing suit, which is pretty cool. Nobody's made a paint job for the TVR Griffith yet? Yo, I'm just saying, if you get a paint job up right now, up. Oh. Okay, I lied. The servers just don't work properly. Somebody says, look at the camber and track width on the TVR Griffith and put the 7.7 .7 liter V12. There's a 7.7 .7 liter engine available for this car. This is not a big car. Actually, I say that I've never seen one. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of room in there. Never mind, I lied. You actually sit so far back? Wait. Is there no trunk on this car? What? Why? It's a road car. TVR making interesting design choices since... Anybody know when TVR was founded? <laughs> Anyways, TVR, the thing's got like 400, 500 horsepower all to the back wheels. Super, super cool car. I think I immediately want to jump into a race with this thing. Just like straight away. TVR just doing TVR things. Apparently. Here's the thing with this car. Part of me is like, yeah, it's a cool race car and I could do probably grippy things with it. Like, hold on. Up. Oh, ah, oh, I wanted to look at the stats. Part of me is like, yeah, this thing could be a really cool race car and probably grip around a track super well, which it probably could. But the other part of me is like, TVRs are known for catching on fire. You know what catching on fire does to a car? Smoke. Let's make the thing drift. I don't know. I, I actually really like the look of this car. I feel like it looks really good. The rear end, those tail lights are awesome. Like, look at it. It grips. It actually grips. I lied. I feel like this race is going to make us choose a direction. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Stepping out again. Stepping out again. I mean, I don't know what the rear tires are for this thing and what tire compound it's running on. But I mean, obviously from the factory, it's built as a road car, even though they didn't put a trunk on it. We'll see what options are available in terms of customization for the TVR. And then go from there. It's not super good at setup. Okay, can you stop proving me wrong every single time I say something about this car? This thing costs 90k? 90,000 pounds? Okay, that's a lot. I feel like TVR is a brand where you should screw around with their cars, smoke it up, and have a laugh, and not take things too seriously. I think it's about to become a drift car. It's about to become a very expensive campfire. Customization. No way, it's S1 class straight from the factory. I didn't even pay attention to that before. But let's see. So we're 480 horsepower, rear wheel drive, 2,600 pounds. So it's actually pretty light and pretty powerful. I mean, that's probably why we were sliding around so much. In terms of the tires, we are on... Okay, we're on sport tires, so it's not super grippy, but it's not race tires. That makes sense. Okay. I mean, I, I, I must give credit where credit is due. The TVR is set up pretty goddamn well. Wow. 
7.7 liter V12 was not a joke. Have we had the 7.7? Wait, this is the TVR V12. Yup. Okay, I was about to be like, maybe I don't put it in because it's going to be like a fr Nope. It's the TVR. It's from the Speed 12. Exactly. I didn't want to break any sort of... Okay. I'm just saying, Forza designers, when you're making a rear wing for a car, could you at least make it as wide as the car? So with that, we've already got 800 horsepower, which is ridiculous. And if we're going to drift it, then I don't want to toss on race tires or anything. If they're going to tell me that we can't swap drift suspension onto this car... I am gonna be so goddamn sad, it's not even funny. Yes! Drift suspension! Could this thing, in theory, be a drag car? Because for those of you who don't know, the TVR Speed 12 is an absolute beast of a drag car. Could this thing potentially rival the TVR Speed 12? So, okay, with all of our upgrades, we have 1,100 horsepower? That's it? I thought the Speed 12 could go way higher than that. When I say, oh, 1,100 horsepower is not a lot of horsepower, it's all relative. We've been driving, like, the Hot Wheels Twin Mill that has, like, 2,000 horsepower, or the, or the Lamborghini Aventador that has 1,800. So being relative, 1,100 horsepower is about 50% of the Twin Mill. That's not a lot. We are TVR up in here with our... What do you call it? Like, iguana or gecko or... What's the animal that changes color? Chameleon! Thank you, chameleon! <laughs> I'm just trying to do TVR proud by doing what TVR did in the past. Look at us go! As we almost spin out instantly. Yo! I know you guys were saying it didn't look super nice in the auto show, but look at it out in the world. I kind of like it. I don't know, maybe that's bad, but I kind of like it. Okay, I want to go smash some drift zones. Yeah, the TVR is a bit of a smoke machine. Okay, and a bit of a crashy machine. And in! No, stay on the... Alright, that was attempt number one. That was attempt number one, it's all good. And we go again! This time, could we stay on the road using every inch? I think my tire... Literally was on the white line that entire Okay, okay, I gotta get used to drifting again 97 K though That's not bad at all man for a completely over-the-top Balls to the wall drift car That's pretty good. The thing weighs like nothing and has so much horsepower you can really just chuck it and not really care. My gears are a little funky. I need to fix those. It's really good to drive. Little jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to fix my gears. I don't like drifting in fourth and fifth gear. I like the fact that it could have been a race car if we wanted it to. Just thicken up the tires. Give it the wing. Give it the front splitter. All of that stuff. Or you could turn it into this absolutely crazy drift car with the speed 12 engine and just go crazy with it wait did i whoops <laughs> completely forgot to do that okay now we feel a lot tighter going in here okay yeah there was something that felt almost sloppy like it felt loose Lock the diffs and suddenly that's no longer an issue i i'm still kind of on the fence for this car Sure, I like it, and it's enjoyable to drift, but at the same time, I don't know, there's something funky about it. Maybe it's our stupid paint job. Like, let's see what we got going the other direction in the drift zone. Can we get 100k going this way? Pro okay, yeah, we're not going anywhere near fast enough. It looks good, but we don't have the speed. 60k, 70, 80k super smooth but we just i don't know we're not fast enough i don't know it's it's a good drift car but at the same time it's kind of meh i don't know if this is gonna work i want all-wheel drive i want to keep my crazy engine however this time i want to go drag tires very good where are our super lightweight rims here we go we will toss they look so dumb on this car okay we'll go over these ones instead <laughs> I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I kind of want to see 
if we can drag race this car for some reason i don't know why this is you guys explain this to me for some reason drag cars are allowed to be the ugliest looking cars that exist even like beater race cars are designed to look kind of cool drag cars though for some reason can just be like slapped together and basically just an engine on a frame i don't know why but it's just i don't know it's weird oh oh, oh that was cool that was fast Yo, it's just like, lunch. I, I don't remember the last time I drove a drag car. Damn, so what class are we? We are S2 class in this thing. So this thing's got some range to it, man, okay. I mean, what are we aiming for? If it could get a nine second run, that'd be pretty good. That, it looks really cool. I mean, the purple on the back looks kind of strange. Let's go though. I want an eight second or a nine second drag run. And that's not gonna happen. Oh, eight seconds dead? What? I wasn't using clutch, and it wasn't even a proper drag tune. I need manual with clutch. That will help us go even faster. And I also want to change up our suspension a little bit, because damn, we're into the 1.1 seconds. Zero to 60 now. I will be totally honest. I was not expecting a drag time that was that fast seven seconds is the time come on oh not great gear change another not great gear change i could probably make this a three gear car i didn't see what the time was let's see 7.97 there we go i can go even faster let's get that let's get those gear changes going a little quicker come on tvr let's go that first uh, I clutch tapped it. If you saw my RPMs go, yeah, I clutch tapped it by accident. Damn it. Okay. That's probably going to be slower if I'm honest. 7.8 with a clutch tap. I guess my last run was really bad. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure if one of you guys give this car a go at drag racing, 7.6 is probably possible. I mean, I'm just not the best drag tuner out there, but one last go. That was good. That was good. Keep it straight. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, that's going to be a 7-8 again. I mean, the TVR Griffith. I didn't expect it to be such a good drag car, but maybe that's the place where it belongs. It's not the best drag car. It's not the best race car. And it's not the best drift car. But it is a bit of a laugh. Part of me really likes the car. Part of me is like, eh, it's okay, whatever. Hey, I mean, saying all of that, though, next week is going to be a very good week because we are getting the Quartz Regalia and we are getting the Nissan 300ZX. Both of those I am so pumped for. If you want to see them, make sure you subscribe for that. Also, in case you didn't know, Raymond and I are going to the Toronto Auto Show. So uh, if you want to come meet us, I'm just saying, it'd be a good place to come and do it. Uh, we're going to be there February 24th hosting the world gaming fast forza motorsport 7 tournament for 20 20,000 25,000 dollars pretty dope